Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In the sequence, we'll be focusing on moon salutations. And these differ from sun salutations because we are doing them entirely on the floor, starting in a kneeling position. So you want to be able to start on the end of your mat so you have the full length of the mat in front of you. And let's sit on the heels in Vajrasana. So let's draw the legs together, feel the spine lifted, shoulders relaxed down, head lifting, and feel this especially at the back of the skull. Inhale here, and exhale, slide your hands forward, coming into child's pose, forehead on the floor. Inhale, draw the legs together, engaging your core, and exhale, use the breath, lift the belly, and come into our cat back position. Nice rounded back. Release the head, long neck between the arms. Inhale, flat back. Let's flex the feet. And exhale into downward facing dog. Now in this downward dog, you can walk in place, pressing the heels down into the floor. So we're opening the soles of the feet, the plantar fascia. We're also opening the backs of the legs, the calves, backs of the knees, the hamstrings. You can shift your pelvis side to side, getting the sides of the hips. And you can even turn your head and look under the arm, incorporating the sides of the body and the spine. So just explore. Have some fun here. Inhale, extend the arms and legs, downward dog. Exhale, back onto the knees, into child's pose. Draw your legs together. Inhale in child's pose. And exhale, let's roll up back into Vajrasana. Now we're gonna inhale up onto the knees, sweep the arms forward. Circle the arms back, exhale. There's a soft curl in the spine. And let's place the hands at the sacrum. The fingers are pointing up. So we want to inhale into a camel pose, starting with the sternum. So let's lift at the sternum, inhale. And exhale, release back to center. Now let's add the solar plexus. So start with the sternum, inhale. Now lift the solar plexus up. Exhale, center. And now we'll add the pubic bone. So start with the sternum, inhale. Solar plexus lifts, pubic bone lifts, and release. Inhale, and exhale, sit down. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale, lift your spine. And exhale, slide the hands onto the floor, child's pose. Inhale, draw the knees together. And exhale into our cat back position. Press the hands and feet down. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's step the right foot forward. So you can lift your belly, bring your forehead and knee close to each other. And lunge forward to get the foot right between the hands. Okay, lower the back knee onto the floor and relax the foot, pointing the toes. Let's let the pelvis release forward. So we're opening the left hip and then bring the pelvis back, softening the left hip. Let's come forward and you can feel that we're opening the back of the right ankle. And as we go backward, we're opening the top of the right ankle. Again, forward, release the pelvis forward and back, extending the right leg. Keep your toes on the floor, forward and back. Now, as we go forward, you can bounce or float up so that we're on the back knee and then release the arm. So make sure the hip is over the back knee. And we want to bring that front foot so it's under the front knee. So there's a 90 degree angle in the front knee as well as the back knee. 
Now I'm going to turn and face the camera and mirror you so you can see what I'm doing. So you draw the legs in towards the center, feel a nice inner lift. So from the pelvic floor along the spine through the throat, and we're going to side bend to the right. So extend the arms and bring the right arm up. Inhale, side bend to the right and exhale back to center. So make sure your pelvis is centered over the back knee. Inhale and exhale. And you can feel a lift at the pubic bone. Feel the energy flowing down at the sacrum and back to center. One more time. Inhale, lifting as you're side bending and center. Now we'll inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, arms out to the sides and the pelvis goes back. So we're in a little forward bend. Place the left hand on the floor and the right hand up. So check that the shoulder is over the hand and the hip is still over the knee. So inhale here and we can stretch now the right side of the body. And we'll do a spiral, bringing that top hand down towards the bottom hand. And on the inhale, we come back to center, open up the arm and spiral, bringing the chest up towards the ceiling. So feeling this in the belly, in the spine, inhale, reach over the ear, shoulder down, exhale, spiral towards the floor. Inhale, open the arm and that right elbow can be slightly bent as you spiral. So it takes the spiral out of the shoulders and puts it more into the belly and back to center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, nice stretch on the right side this time. Exhale and come to center, open again, slightly bending that right elbow. And we finish by extending the arm, spiraling to the floor and walking our hands to the front foot. And I will turn back around, switching the legs and let's lift that back knee. So we're back in our lunge and step back, inhale, heels up and exhale, heels down. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So bring the left foot forward, step between the hands. So we're in our nice lunge position. And then we can lower the knee and relax the foot. So release the pelvis forward. So this opens the right hip and then let the pelvis go back. This softens the right hip. Going forward, we're stretching the Achilles tendon, keeping the heel down. Going back and now we're opening and stretching the top of the ankle, keeping the toes down. So we go forward, shoulders release and back. So you have a nice long spine, long neck, forward and back, just nice and easy. And on this one, we go forward and you can just press and bounce up, reach the arms up and relax the arms down. Now check that your hip are over the back knee and then we want to bring that front foot so it's under the front knee 90 degrees in the front and back knee and once again I'm just going to turn si uh, to face the camera so you can see a little better what I'm doing so for stability draw your legs in towards the middle and feel this deep inner lift from the pelvic floor all the way up through the throat extend the arms out to the sides now we're going to side bend to the left so inhale, bring that right arm up. So we're stretching and opening the right side and center. Inhale, so ground the right leg, reach up through the arm and the fingers, exhale. Inhale, try to feel this big stretch all along the side of the body. And one more time, inhale, lifting at the pubic bone and feeling energy flowing down at the sacrum. Both arms sweep up, inhale, exhale, pelvis goes back. So there's a little forward bend here and we take the right hand and place it down on the floor, lining it up with the knee. Open that left arm up. So just check that your shoulder is over the wrist and your hip is over the knee. 
Reach that left arm over the ear. So now we're stretching the left side. And on your exhale, slowly spiral, bringing the top hand down towards the bottom hand. Inhale back to center, extend the arm up, slightly bending that left elbow as you spiral, sternum towards the ceiling. Inhale, bring the arm again over the ear. Feel this nice stretch on the left side. Unwinding, open, and spiral. So feel this in the belly, not as much in the shoulders. Last one, shoulder down, reach through your fingers, and spiral toward the floor, and back to center, inhale, and continue spiraling as much as you like towards the ceiling. And we finish by bringing the arm over the ear, spiral towards the floor, and walk your hands to the front. So you're in your low lunge. Lift your back knee, and step back. Inhale, heels up, and exhale, heels down. Inhale in your downward dog, nice long neck between your arms, and exhale back down onto your knees, child's pose. Inhale, draw the legs together, and exhale, rolling up. And we'll do our camel pose. Inhale up onto the knees, sweep the arms up. Exhale, circle the arms back. There's a soft curl in the spine. Place your hands at the sacrum. So again, inhale, we lift at the sternum, solar plexus, pubic bone. So let the pelvis travel forward and back to center. We'll do two more times. So feel a lift starting at the top, feeling the lift up the front of the body and center. Keeping the shoulders down and the neck nice and long. Just going back as far as is comfortable for you. And center. And sit down on the heels. And this is our last moon salutation. So inhale, lift the spine. And exhale, child's pose. Just sliding the hands on the floor, rest the forehead. Inhale, draw the legs together, activating our core. Lift the belly and use your breath to come up into our cat position. Inhale, flat back. And downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward between the hands into our lunge position. Now I'm going to make this version a little more challenging. You can always do this with the knee on the floor and the foot relaxed if you like, but I'm gonna demonstrate with the leg up. All right, take your hands so they're both on the left side of the foot and release the pelvis forward. So this is like lizard. You can relax and open the knee to the right and the big toe comes off the floor and we're balancing on that little toe edge of the foot. If you can go further, Come down onto your elbows. Nice long neck. So you're continuing to press back through the left heel. Slide your left arm a little bit forward. And then inhale, reach your right arm all the way out in front. And let's open up into a spiral. And still feel reaching through the back heel. And you're supporting yourself with that left arm. Inhale, nice open feeling in the chest, shoulders down. And exhale, bring the hands to the floor and come back up. So you can come back into your lunge position and recenter your right leg. Turn your right foot 90 degrees on the heel, pivoting on the heel. And then place the left hand a little forward of the shoulder for support. The left leg, we're going to pivot it so we can rest on that little toe edge of the foot. And here's our side plank with the support of the right leg. Let's reach the arm up. So inhale, push down with the right foot, lift the pelvis up. And exhale, lower the pelvis and reach with your right arm towards the foot. You can look at the foot. Inhale up, press down. 
lift the pelvis. Exhale, pelvis down, reach to the arm. So we're stretching the right side as we go up, and you can reach the right arm over the head, arm by the ear. And now we're stretching the left side of the body. And one more time, inhale, pressing down with the right foot. And exhale, stretching all the way up, even the neck and the ear. Now to transition, you come up and over, place the hands on the floor and step back, heels up, inhale, and exhale, heels down. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So step the left foot forward, all the way between the hands. So you're lining up your fingers and toes. And again, you can do this with the back knee down to make it a little more easy. So take both of your hands so they're on the right side of the foot. Open the left knee out to the side so the big toe comes off the floor and we're resting on the little toe edge of the foot. Release the pelvis down. Keep pressing back through that right heel. If you can go further, you come down onto your elbows. Slide your right arm a little forward. And then on the inhale, extend your left arm. Feel this nice reach and stretch from the heel all the way to the fingertips. And then inhale, spiral to the left, shoulders down, nice open chest. And breathe. Inhale, reach. And exhale, come back to center. Coming up onto your hands, bring the knee back upright. And your hands are on either side of the foot. So now we'll do our side plank on the other side. Pivot on the left heel so the left foot turns 90 degrees. That right hand, just bring it forward, a little more forward in front of the shoulder. And then we can pivot on the right foot resting on that little toe edge of the foot there. And let's reach the arm up, shoulders down. Inhale, press that left foot into the floor, lift the pelvis. And exhale, lower the pelvis, reaching towards the foot. And you can look at the foot as well. Inhale, back up. So we're stretching the left side. And when we come down, we're stretching the right side. Inhale, up. You can go a little further by bringing the arm over by the ear. Feel the stretch from head to toe and down. Or in this case, fingertips all the way down to the feet and down. And to come out, the transition is to flip over, place the hands on the floor, step back, heels up, and exhale, heels down. Inhale and downward dog. Exhale, lower the knees, bring the legs together, come into child's pose. Inhale, draw the legs together, and exhale, roll up. And we'll come to stand on the knees, inhale, sweep the arms up, and circle the arms back, exhale. Inhale, camel, with the support of the hands on the sacrum. Exhale. See if you can squeeze your elbows together behind you. They're not, probably not going to touch, but just imagine bringing the elbows towards each other. And keep feeling a lift up the front of the body and feel energy flowing down the back. Shoulders down, long neck, and center. Inhale here, and exhale. Back down onto the heels. And just take a moment to relax, breathe. And that completes this sequence.